Hello YouTube, Rob here. Thought I'd make a quick video today uh, about a new gun I just got today. Uh, if uh, some of you have subscribed to my channel, you might have watched my video uh, uh, entitled Goodbye Ruger Super Blackhawk 44 Magnum. And in that video I talked about uh, letting my Super Blackhawk go and uh, getting something a little more practical for my use. And so that's what I did. I had a trade uh, going on. And uh, so the uh, Super Blackhawk is gone. And in its place is this new box. Uh, of course, I guess if you look by the title, you know what it is already. But uh, I have a new Ruger here. And uh, this is the first time I've seen this new Ruger box. Uh, I kind of... I've never seen a Ruger box like this one before with the red lettering and and uh, the Ruger on it like this. It's a pretty nice case. Uh, it's got dual locks here. You can lock it. Now this gun is brand new. Uh, I just got it today. Of course, I did take it out and shoot it a few rounds just to see how it shot. Um, only shot it with the 9mm... Uh, cylinder in it uh, because that's what I have the most ammunition of right now and with ammunition being kind of scarce I thought I would try it with what I had the most of and so inside the box of course like I said I have opened this is it comes in a plastic bag uh, you do have your uh, Ruger security lock and it came with the extra cylinder and of course, like I said, I've never seen a Ruger case like this one before, but it's actually an injection, look like a molded tray. And of course, there's the bag it come in. I put the lock and everything down below. Uh, comes with the paperwork, but let's look at the pistol. So, this is the Ruger Blackhawk convertible model. Chambered in 357 Magnum, 38 Special, and 9 millimeter. Uh, in your package here, it comes with the the 9 millimeter cylinder, which this is dirty. Like I said, I I did take it out and shoot it, uh, and I did just shoot uh, tool uh, tool ammo, uh, steel case ammo in it, and it shot pretty good. Uh, uh, might have to do a little adjusting on the sights. Uh, on a better day, but uh, for the most part, I hit pretty decently with it uh, straight out of the box. Uh, one thing I did notice that uh, after about oh, four cylinders full of uh, the tool of the steel case, uh, extraction did get a little hard, but um, this gun was not cleaned from the factory. I just basically took it straight out of the box and took it out back and shot it. But this is the Ruger Blackhawk convertible model. Um, it's a nice, uh, well-made gun. Although, uh, I did notice a few things about it that uh, are kind of nitpicking. Uh, I know Ruger's always made high-quality guns. But um, on this particular model right here, and I don't know if you can see, but these edges right here are, are really sharp. Uh, the fit and finish of the grips to the frame. These are these are really sharp right there. And you can actually feel it. I don't know if we can get a good shot. But look, look how proud that is of the frame. And those are extremely sharp. And uh, you can definitely, when you're holding it in your hand, you can feel it right there. It's, it's, it's very uncomfortable. Um, I have a set of... Uh, Ajax ivory grips ordered for it so when they come in uh, maybe we'll do a video of uh, swapping those out but uh, fit and finish on the grips is not the best uh, you can see right here on the on the back here how proud that is right there and that's sharp so the fit and finish on these grips is is not up to what I would consider Ruger's typical 
standard, and it's on both sides. There's actually a sharp lip there. But the gun did shoot well. Um, I shot it at uh, about 15 yards at a uh, AR-500 plate, and the 9mm did seem to function fairly well. It has adjustable sights. And let's see if we can get a sight picture there for you. So there's what your sight picture looks like. Another thing I noticed straight from the factory is that the sight came adjusted all the way to the right. As you can see here, there is some, man, if I'd quit bumping the camera, but the, the sight blade is set over, uh, pretty flush on this side and it's, it's off center and, uh, May have to do a little tweaking on the sights when I put up a paper target and see exactly where it's shooting. But it does have the typical uh, transfer bar safety of the Ruger. This gun is unloaded. There are no rounds. Matter of fact, it's a 357 Magnum cylinder, which is in it now, has never had a round put in it yet. So, uh, But it has the uh, typical Ruger... Uh, transfer bar safety so you can safely carry this cocked and locked I'm sorry could not cocked and locked I'm thinking of a 45 you can carry this with six rounds in the chamber uh, there is no half cock notch and in order to load and unload you simply open the gate and then you rotate your cylinder around to uh, put in each new shell and to unload you would do the reverse. You would rotate it and use your ejector rod to push out. Um, but overall, it's it's a really nice gun. Uh, well made. Um, Rugers have always been uh, tough firearms. Well made firearms. Um, and I will get some video later on. It was pretty windy out today, so I couldn't couldn't do any uh, shooting outside that you could have heard anything so but uh, as the weather improves I'm gonna get some uh, video outside shooting this and we'll take a look at it in action uh, but uh, a very nice gun um, I'm glad I traded my 44 Magnum for it um, this was a better option for me because of the 9 millimeter cylinder uh, my daughter is used to shooting a Heritage Rough Rider 22, and she does quite well with that. So my intention is when she gets ready to move on up to a little bigger cali caliber, that this 9mm will be perfect in this for her to shoot. Uh, recoil on it is nothing. So very light recoiling, very well-made gun. Uh, I do wish the grip panels were fit a little closer, a little more detail there. And for the price of the gun, you would you would think they could do a little better. I mean, this gun was uh, uh, just north of $600 out the door. So, um, But uh, overall, uh, my impressions of it uh, from the initial impressions are very good. Uh, uh, I like it quite well, and uh, we'll do some shooting with it later on in the summer when it warms up. Uh, if you like my videos, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, like my videos, subscribe, share them. Uh, and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you who watches my videos and uh, takes the time to, to uh, listen to what I have to say about what I have nobody gives me any of these guns or anything i'm just doing this because i love to do it and i love uh, putting the information out there for other people who may be uh, looking to purchase something along these lines or just has a general interest in firearms in general um, but like share subscribe and appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video